He's on the edge of 50, came up with a footy too. Robbie Tarrant, who's been a goal kicker before, he loved it off the boot. Four in a row, the Kangaroos have got the lead back. And welcome back, Mark Brookers. Our next guest is a very important player for the Kangaroos. Please welcome North Melbourne's Robbie Tarrant. <laughs> welcome, Robbie, and good to have you on. Oh, now, thanks for having me. I imagine your club's off to a flyer this year. You're travelling really well. You only dropped one game. It must be a really good place to be at at the moment, the Kangaroos. Yeah, it is. It's always nice when you're winning, and obviously the feeling around the club's great at the minute. But you know, as we said sort of all along, although we're winning, we, we need to improve, and we're not playing our best football yet. So although it gives us a, a baseline, I guess, to, to build on in the back half of the year, you know, we've got a lot, lot of work to do. Oh, look, Robbie, thanks for coming on the show. It's always good to have a Kangaroo on, on the show. One, one thing I want to ask you is your, your um, pre-season... Well, especially leading into the first game, was different to previous years. You're normally a slow starter uh, for the season. This year, you've come out of the blocks. Mm. Now, later in the year, you, you're going to play some really quality top four sides twice. Yeah. Were you conscious of that uh, at the start of the year, going into the first game? Because you've got some tough games coming up. People are doubting you. You've got an opportunity to uh, prove a lot of people wrong. Yeah, you're right. We, we had to change things up early in pre-season. It was uh, obviously not working for us. We sort of, I think we lost maybe five or six round one games in a row. So, yeah. you know, when it's not working, you have to change things up. And our fitness staff and our coaching staff done that really well. And, um, you know, each week's a challenge for us. You know, we've got Geelong this week and we probably don't look any further than that ahead. Um, and, you know, we're, we've got an aim as a club to get that to that 12 wins because historically that says that's final. So... Um, you know, hopefully we can take it up to the Cats on the weekend and uh, get the job done. Why do you keep beating up on the Tigers? Um, <laughs> you know, we went in the game last week. We were on a bit of a roll last week. We'd run three on the trot. Within ten minutes, you now the Kangaroos had destroyed Richmond. But you're a bogey team for the Tigers. They can't handle the way that North Melbourne plays. Yeah, I'm not sure. We've probably been lucky enough to, uh, to get the, the wood over them over the last, you know, six or seven times we've played. But, um, you know... Coming into that elimination final last year, it, uh, not much could really separate the two sides. Mm. So, um, yeah, although we got you know one quite easily on the weekend, it was uh, you know we thought it was going to be a lot harder, no doubt. Mm. Robbie, you've been around a little while now. You've had a lot of injuries. We're just talking backstage behind that. We've got something in common. You know, we're both good looking. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> both so, modest. Yeah, yeah. So what's it like now playing down at Hobart? Last Friday night, it was well, it was it cold down there? And you know, new, <laughs> new ground, new um, atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, we've had some uh, some really nice weather there, and then we've had some uh, you know some crazy weather there as well. So um, some of the games have been you know five six goal breeze down one What's end. What's the ground like? Is it a real good footy ground to play on? Yeah, it's an amazing oval. Yeah, the, the deck's amazing. So um, yeah, besides the uh, the actual coldness of, of Friday night, um, that's we're pretty happy that one there's on. Um, but yeah, besides the coldness, it was a perfect night for football. I think we did a clinic the next day at about 9.30, and that was actually colder than the night before, so <laughs> we're complaining more about that. You'd almost get frostbite sitting on the bench waiting to go on, wouldn't you, KB? Well, I think uh, Brett Delidia at one stage had a hot water bottle. Oh, <laughs> that was keeping his they hands sure warm. They're soft they down at the Tiger Land. We are getting soft at Tiger Land. They had electric blankets now, on, Robbie, on the bench as well. When you were young, young you're still quite young, but you played at Xavier College, and you actually had um, Josh Kennedy was in your team. You must have uh, had a pretty good um, coach. What was his name? Jeremy Bar Barraclough? What did you call him, Mr. Barraclough? Yeah, 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 yeah. We were also lucky enough to have um, Josh's dad, John, yeah. um, sort of head up the, the coaching department as well. So Josh is obviously a super player and John's yeah. obviously, you know, knows his stuff. So it was great to learn off both of those two. And Dan Hanabry also came through there. So some, wow. yeah. Yeah, some Pretty talent coming out of Xavier yeah. College. You know, Dan's obviously having a, an amazing year um, or probably past three or four years, really. So, um, you know, he's probably a sneaky chance for the Brownlee, which is, which is good for him. Yeah. Yeah, wonderful, Robbie. And your AFL rating and match averages have just gone through the roof this season. You're above average in disposals and intercept marks. What, what do you um, put that down to? Oh, I think it's just, you know, the side's playing well. And as a defender, um, you know, the Look defence here. is working, working well at the minute together. So, um, yeah, we're just... Uh, you know, we're getting, uh, developing more trust within each other and, um, you know, the other defenders are, you know, wanting me to play with confidence and, um, yeah, they're a massive help, which is good. Why is it, KB, that we don't 
With unbelieving North Melbourne as a footy team. They won nine on end, had a bit of a break, a lost one. Well, I mean, I've always been a believer in North Melbourne over the last few years. In fact, uh, over the last couple of years, I kept saying it was a Richmond North Melbourne grand final. They asked me to ask you that question. This is there. No, no, no. Richmond North Melbourne. No, no, but, but, Robbie, you must feel that people say, oh, you know, the North Melbourne, you know, they, they're not getting the kudos which they deserve. Or do you prefer I mean, you don't? Yeah. Well, I think, is it, I think it could be, Robbie, that you know, you've got a number of uh, older players in the side and a lot of people somehow think that once you get over 30, huh? uh, as the season goes on, you're going to get a bit more tired, a bit, a bit weary, and maybe when it gets to the, uh, the crunch time, North Melbourne will be found wanting. But all of your senior players are playing terrific footy. Yeah, yeah they are, and I think Boomer leads the way there. He doesn't miss any sessions. He, he trains just as hard as the first years. Um, you know, when you have people like that, then everyone else under him just follows. So... Um, yeah, whether I'd rather you know be favourites or not, I don't think it really matters. I think we go out there each week and just try and implement the stuff the coaches um, want us to do, and we try and do that to the best of our, our ability. Yeah, look, Chris, I just want to ask you, um, oh, Chris, Chris, <laughs> gone, 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 I, yeah. it doesn't matter, brother. Everyone calls me Adrian, so it's the same thing. So <laughs> no, look, I, 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 I just want to ask you. Um, I noticed this year's footy. Um, with the teams and the way they're playing, a lot of the sides are getting tired. And I noticed yeah. that on the weekend. I know it's only 10 into the 10 rounds into the season, but sides are getting tired. Now, I've noticed with your forward line, you, you, you're probably going to change your forward line a little bit. You've, you've been playing with three big men. Yeah. It's, you, you might change that to f uh, two big men and four small men. Is that going to happen later in the year? Because is that the way the game's going? Because I don't um, think you can have three men... Early in the season, you could have three big guys, but I reckon as the season goes longer, mm. you can't afford to have that many. Yeah, I'm Is not that too fair sure. Or? I think with those three uh, forwards that you're talking about, they're all, got, they're all really good runners. I think, yes. um, you know, if you're going to play the three, you probably can't have three sort of stationary key forwards. They need to be able to run, and all those three can, you know, get, a, get across the ground pretty well. And, um, you know, probably led by Drew, he's, a, he's an elite runner. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure whether the, the coaches will go with two or three, yeah. three keys. Robbie, Daniel Wells, he's very important to your side, isn't he? And his form has been fantastic. Last week he was in good form again. But I said at the start of the year, he's the X Factor. He's the new recruit, basically. And he's the one when it comes final times. I reckon he's the one that's going to set North Melbourne alight. Yeah, I think uh, on the weekend, I think he had, you know, nearly 30 touches and, and three goals. He's obviously a super player, but, you know, it's just good to see Wellesley back out there and playing and enjoying his footy. I think he's had a, he's had a bit of a horror run, really. The last sort of couple of years have been, um, you know, really affected by injury. And, um, you know, he's just a, he's a super player. He's a great bloke to have around the club. And, um, yeah, we're, we're all the players just pumped to have him. For, for us who don't know Lindsay Thomas, just talk a little bit about Lindsay Thomas because there's, uh, there's you know... A, a, a favourite or, or no favourite player? Go always week, have a go. I mean, what's it like around the club? Not us, Is he hard not us but the, pub, the yeah. media. All the yeah. media in Australia have a go at him yeah. every week. Yeah, they do, and I, I don't think he's an easy target. But yeah, you're yeah. right. He does get. Um, I guess, he just has to yeah, touch the ball and so, he gets run down. But he's know? a hard worker around the club. Like he's, he's, yeah. he's a hard worker. He's a great person. I know he does a lot of stuff for the Indigenous community. And, um, he runs his own program that, down there at the club. Just a great person to have around the club, and I think um, you know that's the stuff that people don't yeah. see. Yeah. Let's just hold it there, shall we? And we'll have a look at your side now. Geelong taking on North Melbourne Saturday night. Any hand, Billy? A big game this one. Yeah. Oh, look, I don't know about uh, Tommy Hawkins' suspension, but I suppose if he hits him in the guts, I've seen blokes get uh, one game for that, so maybe there's something in that. Stanley, good to see him back, but young Stevie Motlop, this young freak, 100 games for the mighty Cats. North Melbourne. Goldstein, he's back. But the question is, will he play? Because I don't he might pull out. We'll see what happens, Robbie. Anyway, but Mullet's there as well. Outside uh, right with an ankle and doors uh, been omitted, but his first emergency. Layla, Zach Smith in good form for Geelong at the moment and yes. uh, Goldstein's back in that side, so he'll yes. have his work cut out. <laughs> He's yeah. been, yes, a great recruit for Geelong yeah. and arguably, probably the, a true... Arguably, the Cats haven't had a true Ruckman since mm. the Ottens and King uh, combination. Yep. So, very good to see that oh, Zach Smith's um, doing <laughs> the Ruckman. No, that's good. That's, you're right. <laughs> and um, you can see what, Sp what Smith brings to the yeah. table. And he did that in his first year at the Gold Coast and he's obviously doing it now at Geelong. And it's always good to see um, a few Ruckmen that like to uh, kick some goals. But obviously, Robbie, Goldstein's back in. So, it's going to be interesting to see the contest between the two.
Yeah, it is. And, you know, we back Goldie in most weeks. We, th we think he's the premier ruckman in the competition. But, yeah, you're right. He's in, he's in great form. He, um, he played really well on the weekend, Zach Smith. And, you know, it's going to be a challenge to Goldie, but we'll back him in. Now, you'd have to feel sorry for the mums on the weekend. It's <laughs> son versus son. Mm. So it's a dilemma for... Uh, Mum's got... Yeah, it's mm. a real dilemma. So, but anyway, you'd be happy because <laughs> Hawkins is out of the side at the moment yeah. and I imagine you would have picked him up because he's a big unit. So what happens now? Have you got Shane Kirsten in mind? Are you sort of... Uh, yeah, we'll probably go through that more tomorrow. But yeah, probably would have lined up on, uh, on Tomahawk. So... Um, yeah, it probably changes things up and makes them a little bit more unpredictable, I guess. And, um, yeah, we'll have the, uh, the review tomorrow just to see, uh, see who we're going to line up on. looks like to me, Rob, the way you're playing this year, that you've got a bit of continuity in your game at the moment because you've had a lot of uh, shoulder problems over the last few years. But, you know, we're talking about your confidence before, but it looks like it's sky high and you're able to read the ball up better because you're playing more game time now. Would that be fair? Yeah, I think it's probably over the last probably two years, it's the most um, time I've spent out on the park. So, yeah. you know, training and, and football. So... Um, yeah, it's just good to be out there, mate. I think um, you spend a lot of time in rehab and, and that sort of thing, and it, and it sucks, really. So, um, yeah, it's just good to be playing good. Good time of your life, winning games, about 28 years of age, you're reaching your peak, you're on top of the ladder, a big game coming up. You want to play in these big games. That's what, that's what it's all about. You know? Test yourself against the best, and this should be a real classic, this game. Yeah, but also... Bliss ha Blick haves or Bliss haves. Oh. We all say it all differently. Do that. Uh, Bliss, Bliss haves, isn't it? Oh, Bliss, 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 Bliss haves. Anyway, I'm talking about the guy that used to be an athlete. Yeah, okay. Athletics. Thanks. You know, no, still is an athlete. Yeah, no, still is an athlete. Yeah. 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 yeah, well, you know, you know, yeah, I'm, talk you know I'm talking yeah. about. Layla's just talked before about yeah. Geelong's ruckman. Where do you see him out and where do you see Geelong in that role? Well, uh, he's one of those players who can pop up anywhere because he can, he's, he's one of those players, as you measure, like an athlete. They play him on the wing. Well, playing on the wing, so, it's, I mean, he can run. Obviously, he's a runner, a ball carrier. But got Reece Stanley coming back in the side yeah, now, so he, he's played that role as well. But um, should be a great game. Uh, They've got to stop mucking around with him, I reckon, Gillian. Put him in the ruck. But yeah. anyway, selections, KB, North Melbourne or Geelong? Kangaroos. Yeah. Kangaroos for me too. Okay. The brand. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going for the kangaroos that Eddie had, yeah. I believe in you, brother. I know. Can the kangaroos do it? Yes, North Melbourne for me as well. Gilly? Oh, isn't it interesting the two Scott brothers are playing each other this week and Brad comes out in support of Tommy Hawkins. Are them two playing cat and mouse? Because I reckon they are. I reckon... Um, oh, brother, I'm going to go... Because you're on the show, brother, I'm going for the kangaroos. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh,